I still have people coming up to me and saying, I thought you were mad. You had this mad, mad harebrained dream and no money at the time. When I came across the Irish Arts Centre, it was 1997 and I came to New York for six months, as many people do. And our neighbor's boyfriend, her fiance, got abducted from the house right next door to us. And my parents came across the car. They were literally driving us down the road. I was in my mom's belly three weeks before I was born. It's a small country road, so the door was open. And they were like, oh my God, Sean must have left in a hurry. It's been really great to see just leaning back into the multidisciplinary aspect because then you're relevant to so many more people. There's only a certain amount of people in New York who enjoy theatre and particularly Irish theatre. But when you bring music into a more enriched experience and you're bringing now contemporary dance, which we can do in the new space, the literature programmes, the humanity programmes. And we've always taught 40 classes a week in Irish language, history, music and dance. We don't talk a lot about the education programme, but it's been phenomenal. Thank you.